Good afternoon, staff and students. I'm Caleb. And I'm Shelby, and this is your later report. Students, the deadline to pay and register for AP exams is February 28th. It will be here in less than 10 days. Please make sure that you registered and paid for your exams in May. We will not accept late payment and registration after February 28th. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Glenf. There will be a March DECA meeting on Wednesday, March 12th. Please wear green. There will be more information to follow. We'll have a key club meeting on Wednesday, February 23rd at 7.40 in the morning in Mr. Yeager's room, room 435. We will be discussing the service project for this month at the meeting. Hope to see everyone there. Students, do you like music? Do you consider yourself a musician or would you like to become one? Do you sing, dance, play guitar, or another instrument and want to learn more about music? There are a wide variety of performance and non-performance music classes offered here at North Forsyth. And if you are into music, there is most likely one for you. If you would like to know more about the music classes offered here at North, please see Mr. Cease in the chorus room or Mr. Thomas in the band room to find out which class would best suit your musical needs. Certain music classes require an application, so please stop by as soon as possible to discuss classes and or pick up an application. Applications for students wishing to work in the school store can be picked up in Ms. Klein's room, 305. They must be returned by February 25th. Be a marketing completer and register for your next Pathway course. See Ms. Klein or Coach Cudless or your counselor for the right course numbers. On Wednesday, February 26th, Liz White from Georgia Gwinnett College will be here in the cafeteria during the second part of IF to meet with interested students of all grades. Please sign up in the counseling office to get an IF pass to attend by Tuesday, March 25th. She can answer your questions about admissions, requirements, programs offered, and campus life. Grits or Girls Raised in the Spirit meetings will resume on Tuesday, February 25th at 745 and 345 in room 906. For more information, ask a Grits Girl or contact Miss Aponte. Seniors, if you have taken an AP or dual enrollment class in English, Math, Science, Social Studies, or Foreign Language, you may be an Advanced Academic Pathway Completer. If you have taken three Fine Arts classes or three Journalism classes, you may be a Fine Arts Pathway Completer. Depending on your activities, you may be eligible for a Pathway Medallion to wear at graduation. Please stop by the table in the area by the Counseling Department to look at the requirements. You may receive only one medallion. Information for Fine Arts Pathways and Career Tech Pathways will be coming soon. Are you worried about how you're going to pay for college? The free application for federal student aid or the FAFSA is available to determine what financial aid you are eligible for. To make sure finances aren't a barrier to your education, we want to help you and your family complete and submit the FAFSA to make sure you are taking advantage of all the aid available to you. Join us on February 21st at the University of North Georgia from 4 to 7 p.m. The event will be on both the Dahlonega and Gainesville campuses. Look for signs to College Goal Georgia once on campus. For more information and what you'll need to bring with you, visit collegegoalga.com. Students who are invited to present your pathway at the middle schools. The visit to Little Mill has been rescheduled for next Monday. Students need to see Ms. Holtzclaw in the atrium right away to return your permission slip. It must be re-signed and turned back into Ms. Holtzclaw no later than today. The visits to, Li to Liberty and North Forsyth have not been rescheduled at this time. Further information will be provided as soon as possible. This week is National FFA Week. The Future Farmers of America was founded in the 1920s by Henry Glose Close in rural Virginia to assist young people in pursuing agriculture as a career. In 1950, Public Law 740 was passed by Congress granting the FFA a federal charter. The National FFA organization is still supporting students and agricultural interests in schools all around the country today. If you have food on the table, clothes on your back, and a roof over your head, it is all because of agriculture. Sign up for next year for an agricultural science class. We have a food garden, two greenhouses full of flowers and plants, a cold frame, and career development events to help students pursue their interests. See Mr. Berry in room 141 for details.
That's all for your Raider Report. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic Friday.